I rise on the, the item on the order paper, personal explanations, to make the following statement. As I approached the parliament earlier this morning, I was approached by a reporter who asked me what I thought then was an irrelevant question, and that is whether I had resigned from the National Assembly of St. Kitts and Nevis. Of course, I tried to understand what was the basis of his question, and only to be told that it would appear the country has been informed that I was no longer a member of this parliament. And so I immediately responded by saying, that under no circumstance whatsoever have I resigned my elected position as a member of the National Assembly of St. Kitts and Nevis. In fact, I reminded the reporter that I was first elected to this parliament to serve the interest of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis since all the way back in 1989. I had to explain further that since that first election to the parliament of our country, I had been re-elected in 1993, again in 1995, yet again in 2000, yet again in 2004, Yet again, Mr. Speaker, in 2010, and yet again on February 2015, that is a mere three years ago. And since then, I have been not only sitting in this parliament, pursuing the work that the people of constituency number six sent me here to do, but I have also been pursuing the work of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party and the work and the services being given to the citizens of our country at home and abroad as the Prime Minister from 1995 until the year 2015. I explained to the reporter further that even though I am aware that persons are very much uncomfortable with me in this parliament. I have not resigned and I shall never resign because there is quite a bit of work still to be done in advancing our country to the state where it was and which sadly it has been relegated from in order to satisfy the personal whims and fancies of some persons here. Mr. Speaker, I, of course, emphasize that I shall not resign, and I have not resigned, because the country is undergoing tremendous, tremendous difficulties. People are scarcely able to meet their daily needs. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Yes. Firstly, when it comes to the item of personal explanations, yes. the proper thing to do is to seek leave of the Speaker to make a personal explanation. I, over, I overlooked that. No, you did not seek leave. I simply allowed you to do your personal explanation. I, 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 I overlooked the fact that you didn't seek leave or got permission of the Speaker. That's the first thing. Now that you've been allowed to make your personal explanation, please be reminded it should be non-controversial. It should be speaking to matters which affect you personally outside of what transpires in Parliament. 
So I'm, I'm following you closely. So please avoid getting into the, the politics and you're free to clear your name if you've been so negatively affected. But avoid going down that path which you seem to have begun to go. I thank you for that advice, but I am almost 100% certain I am within the four walls of your advice. Yeah, but honorable, honorable member. Yes. You began your, your explanation yes. based on an approach that was made to you by a reporter yes. indicating something to the effect that you may have resigned. Yes. I agree that is something you have the right to come here and clear. I believe you have done that by now. I'm not finished. Continue. I'm not finished at all. And so, Mr. Speaker, the point is being made that I emphasized that I have not resigned, I shall not resign, because my work is not yet completed. There is, of course, as I said, some strategy that has been employed using the abuse and of the privilege of this parliament to put me in a bad light. But Mr. Speaker, as I said, there is much work for me to do. I emphasize that there is only one government, one country, that I have ever pledged allegiance to, and that is the government and the country of St. Kitts and Nevis. I do not hold citizenship for any other country. I have declared that on several occasions, I have made it absolutely clear, and it is really an abuse of the privilege of this parliament to try to come here, the very first sitting for 2018, and is trying to bring this parliament into a state of disrepute by saying to the world that I have no right to be here, when the Attorney General has no more right to be here than Denzel Douglas, none whatsoever. None of them over Honor there has any right to be Honorable here member. than me. Honorable member. And that is why I'm Honorable member, please. Yes. I wish to state something. Yes. Again, I have allowed you to make a presentation on the personal explanation. Yes. You began by indicating what was affecting you negatively. Being approached by a reporter and being questioned about whether or not you had resigned. You have cleared the year on that. I've accepted that. So unless there is something else which affects you neg or is affecting you negatively in a personal way, I would ask you to, to, to stick to that. Make sure it's, it's about that. But Mr. But Mr. Speaker... You cannot now be, you cannot now be throwing yes. aspersions to the, no, no, on no, the no. Attorney that's General. Embarrassing. That's embarrassing because that has been done several times. But that is in passing. I am not dwelling on that. Not at all. Because if I were to dwell on matters, for example, people said to me on the streets, they go to office, they go to office of ministers of government and they are abused sexually. I don't come and say these things inside here. I don't do that. On that note, I think you have abused your privilege of making a personal explanation. So it ends there. Kindly resume your seat. Mr. Speaker, I believe that the Honourable Honourable, Honourable Member for number six, I am asking yes. you to kindly resume. I am resuming. I am resume resuming your seat, seat now. I shall. I shall. Your personal explanation has been I completed said I shall. I as far as the chair is concerned. I understand. Kindly Mr. resume your seat. I am doing that. Honourable Member, if you if you utter one other word after I, I direct I you to that. resume your seat, trust me. Mr. Speaker, I am doing Honourable that. Member, kindly resume your seat now, without another word. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I Honourable am Member, resuming my seat. I don't know why is it that I am there? going to apply 
I'm going to apply 49.2. 49.2, what does it say? And I don't remember while I'm speaking, please, until I'm finished speaking, please do not interrupt me or say anything. Seeing that, that's the way we're going to do it and have order in here. Let's do it that way. I'm going to read 49.2 and then I'm going to apply it to you. 49.2, the speaker or the chairperson shall order any member whose conduct is grossly disorderly to withdraw immediately from the National Assembly during the remainder of that day's sitting and may direct such steps to be taken as are required to enforce this and standing order. And so I repeatedly asked you to terminate your personal explanation. And then I repeated, please do not utter any other word once I've given that direction, which I did twice, and you continued to speak beyond that direction. And so I'm asking you to withdraw from this National Assembly for the rest of the day's sitting. Mr. Speaker, your ruling is unfair and unjust. I am aware that I have not wanted to be I in this parliament. And remember, you're totally out of order. I am not out of order. I am not out of order. Honourable I member, am not out of order. Six. I shall leave the parliament. Honourable member, I shall leave six. the parliament. I will now move to another section of the, section of the standing order. Mr. Speaker, Speaker, this is an abuse of the you parliament say, privilege that you have. I find your, 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 your I am behavior leaving the parliament. to be grossly disorderly. Yeah. Grossly disorderly. And so I am going to name you. Could a member, a minister, rise and ask that? The Honourable Member for Number 6, Dr. Douglas, be named for gross disorder. Mr. Speaker, uh, that is a joke, Mr. Speaker. Yes, you don't understand. That's a joke. The Honourable Member for Number 6. Thank you. Honourable Members. On the 49.3, which states, but if on any occasion, order, please. But if on any occasion the speaker or the chairperson considers that his or her powers under the previous provisions of this standing order are inadequate, the speaker or chairperson may name such member for disregarding the authority of the chair under this standing order, in which event the procedure prescribed in the next preceding paragraph should be followed, which is, I've asked the uh, member or minister to move that the member be named and so I, I hereby declare that the Honourable Member for number six, Dr. Denzel Douglas, is hereby named and is suspended from the service of this National Assembly. And that suspension is valid for the next five days subject to correction. On the first occasion, shall continue until the expiration of the fifth day. Yes. So that suspension takes effect today and will continue for five days. Honorable members.